What's up? All right, here we have Pablo. Hola. Pablo is a 10 veteran yes. of uh, making boards here. And what Pablo does is he oversees this area and we call this uh, core and materials prep. Uh, so right now Pablo is punching out uh, some of the maple veneers for the long boards, but he's gonna grab us a snowboard core uh, so we can go into a little a bit of more of, uh, of what Pablo does. Um, there's, there's over 40 steps to make our boards. And in every single section of the factory, the stuff that's being done handmade. So here we have Pablo has a uh, finished core in his hands there. So uh, basically this is, uh, this is ready to be laid up and made into a snowboard. Um, what Pablo does here is he'll, he'll have punched out the tip and tail shape and then attached our tip fill. So we have full PTEX protection around the entire board. Um, we use a few different kinds of wood in our boards. Uh, you can see this would be the top of the core. We have a birch in the insert area, so that hard wood uh, for that solid connection underfoot uh, keeps the bindings obviously pulling out, the base from sucking up. And then we've modified the core block with a uh, poplar, so a harder wood over the edge of the board, so that bite into the harder snow and also the durability. Um, We've blended uh, some lighter weight, more flexible species throughout the block, uh, including uh, some aspen, give it a nice lightweight, uh, flexible feel. And Pablo's mapped this core out. Uh, so when they're making the board, they know exactly where to position the fiberglass um, and also where to lay the carbon fiber. So we have uh, different carbon patterns for different models. And the carbon Vs are at different angles depending upon you know, how stiff we want the boards. The Vs always originate from your mounting area. That'll transfer your energy for that really quick response from your boots to the edge. They'll also uh, run pretty close to, uh, on this model, uh, a little bit shy of the end of the effective edge. Uh, that way it'll still stiffen that board up torsionally. Um, but keep it a little more forgiving. On a free ride, uh, more of our big mountain free ride boards, we'll run that carbon all the way to the end of the effective edge for that really quick response, power over the end of the edge there. Other things he'll do here is he'll cut fiberglass to length. So you can see a few different cuts of fiberglass um, right here. We have our, our biaxle fiberglass right there so you can see the fiber glass is running that two different uh, weaves a zero degree and a 90 degree weave to provide stiffness both torsionally across the board and down the length of the board and then we also have our signature fiberglass which is pre-tensioned and pre-cured so those fibers are stretched and put under high tension and then uh, cured so that tension's built into the fiberglass. Um, most companies don't use a fiberglass like this because it costs 10 times more than this fiberglass. The reason we're able to do so um, is we're a product driven company, not a team or marketing driven company. So we're spending more money on domestic production, higher end materials, passing that along to the end consumer and those fans in Never Summer, those are our, our promotional, our team models, and that's always been kind of our business model. We'll modify this fiberglass in wet layup uh, to produce what we call our SDS fiberglass. So what we're gonna do is take another piece of fiberglass because those fibers are stretched one way, so it's really strong one way. We'll take another, piece of fiberglass laid over the top of it to reinforce it and sandwich some rubber. And I'll show you guys all that over in a wet layup. So you can see the carbon, there's not much to it, but obviously once this gets cured, it becomes really, really stiff and super strong. Uh, some of our other models are running carbon X's in our cambered areas, like out towards the mounting, uh, where uh, the mounting area there to really stiffen the board you know, underfoot and in those cambered areas for a stiff, powerful feel. So um, this is about the last of uh, around, uh, you know, 13 steps to make the core. So, um, you know, there's just a, a lot of steps involved uh, to just finish the core alone. Thank you, Pablo. We appreciate it, man. <laughs>